Hey everyone, in my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we will be solving a question that was asked in Jappe interview. So the interviewer shared me this particular image and asked me to go through this particular question. So yeah, I have created a blog on this particular uh, question and uh, you know, I'll be sharing the link to this particular blog in the description. So go through it. I mean, in short, I'll explain the question where, uh, you know, he asked me to create n number of blogs. He asked me to have a start button. Once the user clicks on the start button, the user should be able to see blue color on a random box. The block should change for every one second. Okay. And if the user presses on a blue color block, then it should turn to green color and the score should increase. And if it is not a successful click on the blue color then the block should turn to red color and the user should have a high score as well as the score even after refresh the high score should persist so th this was the question and let me show this particular video of the question once the user starts in on this button there should be a different you know random block and the score should increase okay so let's uh, start solving this particular question yeah so before solving if you like the content then please do subscribe to my channel and if you don't subscribe you might not see my videos again so please do subscribe and yeah let's get started so here first thing is we need to create a random number of blocks let's say if i give right if i give blocks equals to five then it should generate five number of blocks and we should be seeing five number of blocks this way right so let me create a constant where block elements equals to an empty array okay and let i equals to zero i less than or equal to i less than blocks i plus plus will be pushing those blocks into these block elements and at the end i'll kind of render whole of the block elements so so push off here i'll be pushing a div okay so here at the end what we are going to do is we will be kind of rendering whole of these boxes here right block elements so here we need to kind of style this class name so it's a block right so let me style this here mm, width width is 100 pixel height is 100 pixel border is 1 pixel solid gray okay now if you see these blocks are aligned uh, in a column wise so let's uh, you know align these in a row wise so class block block container your display flux i'll be putting once i'll put uh, they should be aligned horizontally because this in C CSS by default flex direction will be row, so it will be aligned in a row. So, if we want to align this uh, vertically, then we can, uh, you know, flex direction colon if we give it will be aligned. So, now the blocks are there, and we should have a start button, right? Button, button start, right? On click handle click constant handle click will be creating this particular handle click where once i start clicking on this button it should convert the random block color into blue so to achieve that i need to generate a random number out of these boxes so what i'm going to do is random so i'll be kind of map dot map dot random from these blocks right um where it, they'll be generating random number which will be in floating values so i'll be multiplying it with 10 
and as this is a floating value i'll be kind of converting that into an int pass int so this will generate number between 0 to 9 so what we wanted we wanted a number between 0 to 4 so to achieve that what we are going to do is we will be kind of dividing this with the block number the blocks so it will kind of give a remainder remainder which is in between the number of blocks so let's let me show you console.log this random number so here uh, we will be kind of checking this so let me reload this if you see there is key issue so what i'm going to do is i'm while pushing i'll give a separate key for each and every block to avoid i mean so that this issue won't be there for us once i click on it it should generate one it is generated i'll click on it it is generating different different numbers for each and every click now whatever the number that is being generated we need to convert that particular box to blue color so what we'll be doing means we'll be picking a state variable so that you know whenever we set with that number then our component will re-render and we can convert uh, you know the back color of that particular block to the blue color so here i'll kind of say a required block required block set set required block equals to use state now i'm giving at the initial stage use state now what we have to do is whenever i click on it i'll have to set that block to random number right and also let's say i'll click on it i generated three right so this three what we have to do we have to convert the third block to a blue color so what we are uh, will be doing is we'll kind of change we'll kind of change we'll kind of change the color so here if the i is equals to required number required block is equals to i in that case i will say do right in other cases i don't need to color anything so this blue color i'll have to give background color so now here if you see once i click the random number is three so blue color so it's a three so it's a third index once i click three again if it is one so one index so this way it will kind of convert different different colors yeah so now what we have to do this particular color needs to be changed for every one second so to achieve that what we have to do is we'll kind of you know run this particular code for one interval time period so i'll be creating a timer right set interval and this needs to be run for every one second so this code i'll be picking and i'll be putting here so that it will be running for every one second also we need to understand that whatever the timers that we are creating we must you know uh, clear those timers because if we don't clear these timers they, this will impact performance so to clear the timers what we can do whenever our component unmounts right unmounts then we have to kind of clear the timers so unmounting will be handled in this particular return statement of the use effect so here i'll kind of have to clear interval clear interval where i'll have to clear this timer so to clear this timer let me put it outside i'll have it let and then timer is timer is this and then timer 
so it will be cleared and here i will be putting an empty dependency so that it will be running only when the when it is unmounting so here uh, use effect i need to import from our react so now let's see yeah when i start it will kind of generate a random number and that random number will be turned to blue so whenever i click on this particular random blue number then it should be changed to green so to achieve that what we are going to do is we will be kind of you know having on click on click handle press handle press i'll kind of create one function where where i'll have this handle press so here whenever i click on a particular button in that case i wanted that number on which i'm pressing on so i'll i'll, I'll pass it pass the number to the handle press i'll pick the number if the number that i'm pressing if the number that i'm pressing it is equals to the required block right required block in that case required block is nothing but the random number if it is equals to the required block in that case we'll have to convert that block particular block to green color so i'll take one more success set set success you state now i'll be taking now i'll kind of set that particular block to that number so here i have that number right now what i'm going to do i'll check i'll check whether that particular block is equals to success or not if it is equals to success in that case what we wanted is we'll kind of convert it to green right so and i'll have the style for this as well similarly green green so here if it is equals to success then it will be green so let me run this once i click on start yeah it is it is turning to green if you see this green is persisting so to avoid that what we can do is while setting we for every second we'll kind of set the green set this particular success to null again so that this persisting won't happen right and also whatever the click that we are doing if it is a failure click in that case we have to show a red color for the box that we are clicking on so to achieve that what we are doing what we are going to do is we'll kind of have a another state variable failure failure where it will be null and then we'll be checking the failure scenario right if it's in else case it will be going and that failure scenario will be setting we'll have the failure box id and now in the similar way we'll kind of handle the failure block here so failure is equals to i in that case red will be giving and this red will be sharing here we're having red here so now let me save it and let me start once I start is green, it's green, it's green. Now press down here, it's a red. So yeah, and it is being persisted to clean this. We can do the similar way that we have done for our success block as well. So here I'll I'll kind of set null to this. Yeah. Now we need to show the score. For every press, if the block turns to green, in that case, we'll kind of increase the score and we'll kind of show the score. So here, what I'm going to do is 
here I'll be creating a constant score set score to state it's zero on the initial phase the score is zero and while clicking in success case will kind of increase the score based on previous will kind of increase the score previous previous plus one so here and whatever score is there that score will kind of show it here div so here I'll kind of show the score, right? And also, I mean, let's test this particular scenario. Here I clicked on it. Okay, it seems stuck, let me reload. So let's check this. And here, this is the one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, when I click wrongly, it is not incrementing. So it is working as expected. Now what we have to do, we'll also have to have a high score right to achieve the high score so even if i reload the high score should persist to have that what we have to do is we have to store our score not within our state but we have to store it somewhere else so the best option for us is our local storage so what i'll be doing is we'll have a use effect and every time our score changes every time our score changes right we'll kind of run this use effect and we'll check right we'll check within our local storage so we'll check within our local storage if our local storage local storage dot get item is blinkly get item blink click is greater than high score i mean if it is less than high score less than score right if it is less than score in that case i'll kind of set this local storage local storage dot set item set item with blink click and its value if score is more in that case i'll set it in the local storage so now uh, i can display the high score as well similarly so local storage local local storage local storage dot get get item of blink click right local storage dot get item of blink click will pick so here so yeah let's verify all the scenarios let me click on this here while clicking score is increasing while clicking on red button score is not increasing and while reloading the score will preserve your highest score and while clicking again so so here it is working as expected if you see yeah and if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel